Alright, yeah. Good morning. Um, coffee? Thanks. Right, so who's gonna annoy me first today? <laughs> of course, it's a finance meeting. <sighs> I swear, those meetings are terrible. How can we reduce our costs even more? Gee, Mason, have you maybe re reconsidered, like, maybe outsourcing? Hiring some unpaid interns? <sighs> oh, don't you start preaching with me. I'm not complaining about their worth ethic. I'm complaining that all of them who seem to think that being a blood-sucking flea is the way to go. Hiding beyond laws and lawyers who are just unprofessional and well-paid assholes. Anywho, I did mention that my father was a lawyer once, two years ago. So just get back to fucking work, alright? Jeez. Oh, what the... What are you still doing here? It's almost 6 p.m. <sighs> Look, you're a great secretary, but... It's time to go home. Why haven't I gone home yet? <sighs> you shoot or love to mouth off your boss, don't you? Go home. You work hard enough, and the security alarm will be set automatically in an hour, and you don't want the alarms to start blaring if you try to leave, do you? Oh my gosh. <sighs> You're so stubborn, why can't you just... Why the fuck turned off the lights? Oh, jeez, the... Whole city just lost power. F fuck. No, 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 no. Where's my phone? Where's my phone? Shit. I'm fine, okay? I'm fine. Of course. I'm fine. Just help me look for my phone. <laughs> just, it's. <laughs> is it hot in here or is it cold? Huh? Yeah, I, I'm i fine. I just want to get out of here, okay? Alright, so can we please stop the chatter and just move on? Jeez, where... The door is fucking locked, too. And the emergency stairwell? I swear, I swear someone's head is going to... <laughs> Fuck, I can't breathe. I... <laughs> Shit. I... Sh <sighs> Help. I can't... can't... I... <sighs> Shit. <laughs> Thanks. This... This is super inappropriate. You're my secretary. I... Just... Thought I'd... Could handle the dark. I'm sorry. I'm. I'll be fine. Okay. I just don't like the dark. It's perfectly reasonable phobia to have. Okay. Oh, don't hit me with that. Calm down, please. Like you're any fucking stronger and not that I am. You're not. No one is. Okay. I'm sorry. I've I've, I've been so awful to you. And I see that the worst part, and I see it, and I go, Come on, Mason, you're being a dick to a perfectly lovely person who puts up with your shit. And it's still not enough to stop me from ruining your day. Every single day. I don't know why I'm such a asshole, okay? I just feel like everyone is always looking at me and trying to scrutinize, and if I, if they can spot my any, any weakness, and if they do, that's... Uh, that's it. I'm done. All, all I've worked for and all I've built, it was for nothing. I built all of this to remind them that I'm worth something. That I, I'm strong and that I have power here. Oh. 
who is they? Well, my... My parents. <laughs> abusive assholes has an abusive asshole parents. <laughs> Shocking, right? <laughs> we grew up dirt poor, and I was working odd jobs just to help buy food at the time. I was six. You'd think that would have kept us all humble, right? Nope, they both blamed me and my brother for every wrong in their life. Not the alcohol, not the crimes, just... Not even the abuse, just us. <laughs> I was the hellraiser between us. My Ivy was the softer spoken one then. Which means I got the whole more often. It was... This... It was this put my dad and he dug out of the backyard and with the bucket over it. When we were bad, we would had to stand out there for hours until our legs went numb. Guess I'm more afraid of the dark than I thought. I wish I knew how to talk like you. I... I want you to like me. So badly. Which usually isn't a problem, but you're different. You you have these gentle but sad eyes. Like you look at the world in both beauty and tragedy. Like you're at peace and turbulence. You're beautiful inside and out, and that little annoyed smile you do when I pass your desk. It just drives me fucking wild. We're co-workers. I'm your fucking boss, for fuck's sake. But I can't stop thinking about you. And it sucks. So, there. <laughs> hmm. Shut up. You don't get to, I'm proud of you for opening up Mason. Me. My hun. I'm still going to annoy the shit out of you every day I get the chance. Consider it my love language, or whatever. Yeah, the, the moon and the stars aren't really beautiful when the city is cast into darkness, isn't it? Hey, could you look at me for a second? You're so beautiful. It drives me insane. <laughs> I hate interacting with people, but I feel like I could talk to you for hours, amongst other things. I want you more than anyone else, so I don't know, do you think I could take you out sometime? If I try to be less of an asshole, you know. <laughs> Can, I can try to be less of an asshole. <laughs> yeah, that that's fair. Um, could you look at me again? <laughs> you little troublemaker. <laughs> Rooting feelings for someone like me. What am I going to do about it? <laughs> I'm going to keep kissing you. That's what. And if we somehow survive this, dinner's on me. <laughs> hey guys, I'm Sidhu here. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this audio. If you guys did... Let me know in any way you think is fine. Comment, like, or subscribe. Thank you guys once again for all the support. It's been absolutely amazing. But, um, if you guys didn't enjoy this audio, you can let me know. And as always, if you're listening to this as you're about to fall asleep, I sure do hope you have an amazing sleep tonight. You had a good day today, and you have a great day tomorrow. And as always, goodbye and good night.